Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny. I'm here to do a quick Dollar Tree haul, but first, welcome back. I'm sorry, I've been super busy. My kids were sick and then like with the holidays and everything, I'm always busy when the kids are home from school. So, so yeah, I'm back and going to do a Dollar Tree haul. So here we go. Um, I went to Dollar Tree and they had some Christmas stuff for like 50% off. So I went ahead and grabbed some stuff for like next year to either keep in the house or give out as gifts to like the teachers or the bus driver. I like to put little goodies like candies and maybe a mug from like Dollar Tree or wherever. So yeah. Got those three, 50 cents each. And then I just picked up these cute um, baggies for 50 cents each since I do like little bags with treats for my son to bring to school for his friends. Then I saw these and I figured I'd try them out. I've never seen this brand. I could be wrong. Maybe some of you ladies have seen them, but it just says crystal beads, air freshener. This one's apple cinnamon. It does say Greenbrier, but I just never seen this style, I guess. But yeah, there's that one. And then this one says vanilla sugar. Please excuse my nails, but I took off my fake nails and like my nails are jacked. So another thing I picked up was the perk. This one is in Caribbean culotta. So yeah, I wanted to put that in my car. And then I saw this fun with stickers, my dog. I thought that was super cute. So I picked that up. It says in the back. So we'll go to snacks right now. I um, figured I'd try this out, this Jell-O's Creation Dessert Kit. I thought maybe my son would like that. I saw the Healthy Choice in Chicken Noodle. This is a name brand, so I figured I'd pick that up. And then I saw one with chicken with rice, also Healthy Choice for a dollar. That's amazing. And then I found the Wishbone um, Italian Dressings. This one's in roasted garlic balsamic, and this is like Italiano, it says. And then this one's Italiano signature Italian. I picked those two up. I believe there was one more like roasted tomato or something, but no, we didn't get that. I picked this up because my children love these crackers in their soup. So yeah, they're the oyster and soup crackers. I saw this. Cured ouchless tape and with kids, you know, somebody's always getting hurt. So anyway, I picked that up It says does not it sticks to self not to skin or hair Then I picked up the home luminaire energy saving bulb LED 9 watts equivalent to 60 watts. I wanted to try this out to see how it looks, but yeah To see if it's bright enough basically and then more snacks. I got these Cheez-Its grips for my son to bring to school with him when he brings lunch to school. I got this scarf and accessory hangers and it can be used for ties, scarves, jewelry, but I actually picked it up to use with my belts. And I picked up two sets of these. My husband has the other one for his belts. It's a Valentine's Day bag. And here's another bag that was super cute. And the person I'm gonna give this to loves French bull bulldogs, so yeah, I picked that up. Uh, I thought this was super cute for my son. He loves monster things like this, and this says Monster Crush. It's just the refrigerator magnets that we usually use on our doors, and this is just like the Valentine's Day theme that they have going on right now. And I thought that was super cute, so I picked those up. And then I also got the Monster Crush for the window clings kind of match that. My younger daughter, she's like, likes arts and crafts kind of thing. And I saw these pixel pops and figured she might like this one for her basket. It's the little bunny. And they're like little blocks that you have to put together. And then I saw this one also. I really don't know what the difference is. They say pixel pops, 12 stickers for custom stickers. This one just says jumbo cubes. They had a whole bunch of these in different designs, but I just figured one of those because I picked up two of these. And this is how these look. Yeah, so this one's a little bit different, I guess, because they're flat, they're not 3D. 
make like flat stickers and then you can put them like in the back of your phone or wherever you want to put them also got these cute socks for my older daughter i thought they were super adorable i think this one could be for my younger daughter but yeah it's valentine's day socks and then i saw these yo-yos and um these are actually selling for like three dollars at five below i believe and then they're more at walmart i can't remember but yes a dollar here's the other one i picked out this one's the like tiger kind of look and it says blazing team by hasbro and then i picked this up i always put these in their baskets but they're the little um wackapacks valentine's day theme and then i saw more socks these were really cute and they had hearts on them and then this one with the like pears and the hearts i thought they were so cute and then the other ones are kind of plain, but that one was so cute, I had to pick that up. Three pairs of socks for a dollar is amazing because they lose socks all the time. And then I saw this one, like the blueberries, I believe, with the hearts. And there. And then this one is like the little pandas. And then... I picked up this, my son likes Avengers, and sometimes he needs to do homework with like crayons and he breaks them and they're all over the place and I end up throwing them out, so I just picked up a new crayons. And then I went to another Dollar Tree, this is kind of collective, but they had these blazing teams with like the rings for the yo-yo, like you attach the ring to your finger and then it's easier to hold, so I picked up these two. Chocolates, um, this one's cookies and cream, this is regular, this is like in the shape of lips. And then this one's just hearts. They're both from Palmer. And then I picked these. My daughter used to always be into uh, Little Ponies, and I love My Little Ponies. But for a dollar, these are amazing. Because I think my daughter used to pick them up for $3 at Toys R Us. So yeah, I just picked up two because I'm not sure if she's still into them. And I figured I'd put it in her uh, Valentine's Day basket. Then I picked up these. I think a dollar is an amazing price because these are usually more and they're in shea butter it says vitamin a c and e soft lips cube in fresh mint that's the only uh scent or flavor that they had and then i just picked up another one of these i'm not sure if i ever showed these in my haul but they're the rich radiance uh cocoa butter cleansing wipes and then I saw everyone hauling these. I only picked up a couple that I think are like the main characters, I guess. For my younger son, um, I thought they were super cute to put in his basket. Maybe I'll give him two for like Valentine's Day and two for Easter. But I thought these were super cute. So yeah, he's really into like Pokemon. But for a dollar, I couldn't pass these up. And then I picked up this because my daughter's into baking, my older daughter. And I figured I'd put this in her Valentine's Day um, theme basket. I thought it was really cute cookie cutters and different shape hearts. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pick up my son from the bus stop. So he's here running around and playing. To finish off my haul, I have these two duct tapes. They were the new ones. And I guess they were like the Valentine's Day. They had other ones, but I like the arrows and the hearts. So those are the two that I picked. I'll show beauty stuff now and... These are the fashion nails. I saw this one and I really liked it. It's like in rose gold, I guess. So yeah, I picked that one up. Sassy and chic nails. And then this one up. They had other designs, but these are the two that I liked and I really don't need to be buying anymore because I have tons that I need to go through. But yeah, I like these teal ones. I found these colors in a different Dollar Tree. I had to go to a bunch of different Dollar Trees to find these, but yeah. I think I hold one before, but I don't think it's one of these three. This one is an oat, and it's the Pressed Powder by Beauty Benefits. It's Total Coverage Foundation Powder. So yeah, that one's an oat. This one's in Carob. And this one, yes, it's definitely going to be too dark, so I figured I'd use this as a um, contour. So I wanted to try that out to see if that worked. And then I got Tawny also, which is dark also. I think all of these were pretty dark. This one's in Tawny. So yeah, those are the three pressed powders that I got. It says radiant finish. I don't know if that means anything, but yeah. 
The lighter one, I guess, is this one, which is oat. And then the last three items that I picked is uh, this one's the Alme Smart Shade. I saw some ladies hauling it. And there's my son. This one is in medium, and I picked the medium up, but they did have a light one also. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't pick the light one up though. And then I saw these powder blushes also by Alme, 30 Coral. And these are the only two shades I found in their pressed blushes. And then this one is in 10 pink. I thought these were really cool for a dollar, so I picked one of each up. So maybe they have other shades of blushes, I'm not sure. Thanks everyone for watching, that's all for my Dollar Tree haul. Let me know what you guys are finding in your Dollar Trees, and yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later. Bye!